हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द इंडियन डेव एंड आई एम आई यूश सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी गो ना राइट अवर वेरी फर्स्ट रिएक्ट कोड दैट विल हेल्प यू इन अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम बेसिक एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस और हाउ वी गो ना राइट दिस कोड इन अवर लाइक थ्रू आउट दिस सीरीज सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दैट बट बिफोर जम्पिंग ऑन टू द रिएक्ट थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट इफ यू गाइज आर न्यू हियर दैन प्लीज मेक श्योर टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब दैन प्लीज प्रेस द वेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफाइड वेन एवर आई लाइक पोस्ट एनी वीडियो सो यस लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द लाइक रिएक्ट कोड थिंग सो फॉर राइटिंग अवर लाइक फर्स्ट रिएक्ट कोड आई विल नॉट जम्प ऑन टू एनी आई डी ई लाइक वी एस कोड और एनी लाइक कोड एडिटर वी एस कोड वेब स्टॉम आई विल नॉट गो देयर डायरेक्टली बिफोर दैट लाइक वी विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग अवर कोड ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज कोड पेन डॉट आई ओ इट इज़ अ लाइक ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर यू कैन राइट कोड सो हियर यू कैन सी that i can write, write html i can write css i can apply javascript so the preview will be here so let's begin like uh, i am writing here that uh, i'm just creating a dev and just checking that if it's working or not so i'm just writing the indian dev and that's it so i just i am just having a dev and i am having the text inside that that is the indian dev let me add some of the like, like styling so i will create a class uh, as app so let me add some like styling uh, parameters here so i will define some of the padding padding is kind of let's see 30 pixel it's simple uh, like css that you already know i guess background color may be black because as a developer we all like love the dark theme so i will choose the background color as black black sorry okay the color has been like taken up i would like to add the border border should be like uh, of around 5 pixels Five pixel color should be cyan, and it should be solid. Okay, so the color is here. I need to define the width. The width must be like kind of fit the content. Okay, how to define the margin as ten pixels? okay so like here everything is sorted okay so background color is here so now we have uh, styled the our like our component that is a div so we will be talking always in the terminology of react like this is a component that i created using uh, like this and uh, div so if i need to reuse this i just need to paste it here and again and again and again right and that will be visible so yes it is it is here and uh, kind of visible margin is spelling is wrong okay now it should be like fine yeah it's fine like uh, five divs are there with the same content so i have uh, like uh, you can observe that i am writing the same uh, code again and again so this is the basic html and css now we will move forward with the react code so we will implement this the same thing with react so for that react here at the code pen you you are you are having the direct support of javascript but for react you need to like as we know that react is a library so we need to add that library from here like from this setting button here so if you click on that you will find uh, this kind of dialog from here i can like add a react so inside uh, react make sure to like add react and react dom that is here so uh, react and react dom will be both will be required in order to like uh, write on the code in react js and uh, like uh, react js works on all the like modern features of javascript that is like introduced in uh, in es6 um, back in 
so yes like for that we need a transpiler or we can say we can we need a preprocessor that uh, like if your browser is not supporting that we can have this uh, preprocessor so i'm having this pre as a preprocessor bevel okay so i just need to close this and for uh, like uh, writing any code uh, i obviously i need the html thing so from this html i am removing uh, or we can say i am just providing the id to this dev so i am providing a id root okay that's the normal thing that i have provided the id you just need uh, like need to use the react dom library that we have already like installed so there is a method as react dom dot render so it will basically render some like ui okay so i'm just writing here that i uh, use okay and if okay so uh, this method receives like exactly two parameters so from here i'm uh, kind of like trying to render this uh, division uh, onto my like and this html page so here i need to bind it uh, to some of the divs in the html so i'm kind of binding this document dot get element by id and i need to pass the id here so id is root so i just need to pass the root here and you should see that yes so here you can see that inside this division this the indian dev is not there the content that i have written here is almost visible there if i my like write my whole name here then it should be like updated here yeah so it's kind of working like now we have rendered our code or our structure or our uh, like user interface using this react dom library so let's uh, like split this code so i'm just creating a function like name component so as i mentioned that we will be using this terminology that is a component for our interfaces so from this component or this component method i will be returning a ui or we can say the same thing that i was like uh, returning directly so now this is my component so i can use this component again in in like in html you cannot uh, do this thing like you cannot uh, use the uh, self created component or self created tags so i can use this function or this uh, functional component as my tag so let's see if it's kind of work or working or not okay so here you can see that uh, we have achieved of like uh, rendering our component this is name component into the id root so if i remove this the indian dev then it is fine okay so one thing what i can do is like i can if i want to reuse the whole thing i just uh, let me remove all of the stuff here from here so i am just having this single div okay so this this single div is uh, rendering its ui from our react code okay so like it's kind of uh, fun i guess that uh, we are able to render all the things that we want from here like uh, if i need to uh, render uh, multiple components like the same component again and again what i will do i will simply uh, wrap this up into a div okay let me let me format this correctly so that we can have a clear picture okay so inside this div i am having this name component now i just want to uh, re render this thing again and again i just need to like write the function or we can say component name and it will be rendered again and again okay so you must be having the issue with the css so i am remo removing this css from here i will use this uh, like uh, css inside my react code so there are like some differences from uh, the basic html that we will be discussing in our uh, videos uh, like more deeply so i need to define the class but i cannot use class here because class is a reserved keyword in the uh, js 
so I just need to use class name and I will define I will use this class that is app and now it should work fine so yes guys here you can see that uh, this name component is being rendered again and again we have reused the same component to to basically render yes so in this way like we can uh, achieve uh, this so i think we are done with the uh, with the very first react code there are a lot of things that we can uh, learn in the future like if i want to make it uh, like uh, we can say dynamic like this is hard coded if i want to make it dynamic we can pass on some properties to this component so like if i pass here that name equals to we can uh, basically these are some uh, text so we can pass the attributes like in this way so I'm passing Ayush let me copy this okay so I will be passing the names in all the components separately like John Ria and let's say Rohan okay so the name is here so I'll be receiving these properties into my component that is name component so I can use this uh, like this thing uh, like uh, at the very dynamic level so I will be retrieving this uh, these properties from this props or we can say properties props dot name and I will remove this my like my surname and let's see that how it's work okay so guys here you can see that uh, the UI is being rendered and it is fully dynamic so this is just a beginning to uh, react just we just created a uh, component we just make it made it like a dynamic dynamic component to show the dynamic data we just uh, like passed on some of the properties we will be learning all of this in details with some of the code editors in the next videos so yes if you like uh, like this video or like the way i explained uh, uh, to write your very first uh, react code then please make sure to subscribe to my channel and if this video was helpful to you then please make sure to like this video.